guys thank you so much for tuning on this video because today is super exciting because we are going to be baking sugar cookies Whoa. <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video so for this recipe it is actually really simple it only takes I think the website said like 30 minutes or 45 minutes or something like that you don't need a lot of ingredients which I do like because easy simple um I don't know the website that I'm on right now to be honest um, it does have quite good reviews, but I will link it down in the description box. I will link down my social medias in the in the description box, so you can go check those out too. There will be a special guest um, towards the end of the video, so make sure you tune in for that. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just follow the rules, and I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. But first, I'm going to tell you the ingredients and the measurements of each ingredient. So the first thing is two and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour then one teaspoon of baking soda then a half a teaspoon of baking powder one cup of butter softened one and a half cups of white sugar one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and also if you would like to shape your cookies um to make them different uh like shapes i have some of my own which I'm going to be using I love this one they're like little lips I'm not kidding you guys see that they are lips so yeah also it doesn't mention but you will need obviously measuring cups to measure the ingredients you will need two bowls one slightly bigger than the other and I'm also using this spatula but I might have to use my mixer once I go um, along the way before we get baking, let's tie up our hair because, you know, we do not want any hair in our food and put on an apron. Let's go ahead and put this on. Now I'm going to preheat the oven to 375 and also before you preheat the oven, make sure that there is nothing in the oven prior so you do not burn down your house. In a small bowl, stir together flour, baking soda, and baking powder and set it aside. And here I am putting in two and three fourth cups of all purpose flour. Now I am putting one teaspoon of baking soda in. Now I am going to put a half a teaspoon of baking powder in and then begin to stir. In a large bowl, cream together the butter and the sugar until smooth. So here I am taking one cup of butter and putting it into the big bowl. Now I am taking one cup and a half of white sugar and adding it into the butter. mixing together the butter and the sugar and it got really hard on my arm so if you do have a blender I encourage you to use that as you can see now it is like a doughy kind of consistency but we're gonna go ahead and add in one egg and then add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then go ahead and beat that all together and as you are beating it together don't worry if it starts 
being really liquidy, I got really scared. And don't worry, I promise you, you're doing it right. But at the end, it should come out something that's like a doughy consistency, but it's still liquidy. Like as you see right now, that's how the texture should be. Okay, so now we are going to bring in the other bowl that we made before with the flour, baking powder, and baking soda. And we're going to gradually add it into the other mixture that we just made with the butter, sugar, egg, and vanilla extract. Add this in gradually because if you add it in all at once, it will hurt your arm a lot and not only will it hurt your arm it also will ruin the consistency so i really strongly advise you just do a cup at a time or even a half a cup if you have the patience for it to get ready to roll out the dough but in the recipe that I followed it says to just get balls of the dough and put them on a cookie sheet but I wanted to actually make shapes with mine so I decided to roll it out with a rolling pin and then go over it with a designed rolling pin and then cut out some shapes with cookie cutters you absolutely do not need to do this I just personally find that it brings life to the cookies um, and makes them more fun and more um, appealing and attractive so i'm just rolling it out here try to make your cookies not too thick and also not too thin so you really want to get that nice medium of thickness i was being really careful because with this type of dough it tend does to crumple really easily, so you do have to be really careful. So I advise you to use a lot of flour and make sure the rolling pin does not stick. Now I'm going in with the design rolling pin that I um, had, and I feel like it brings a lot of life to it and makes the cookies uh, look even more appealing. So yeah, if you have one of these, I really encourage you to use it because it makes your cookies look so much better. And now I'm going in with the cookie cutters finally and actually starting to make some cookies and placing them on a tray with parchment paper. I actually did end up making three trays of cookies with this one batch which is crazy it made so many cookies but just make sure that they are all the same layer because if you keep some in longer than the other then they will burn and some will just not cook now we are putting them in the oven for eight to ten minutes or until they turn golden guys these are the finished products i think they look so good and i'm so happy Okay guys, so I'm done baking the cookies and they actually have made a lot. But now it's time for the special guest to come in and taste test the cookies. Hey. Say hi to the camera. Hello. So this is my little brother and he's going to be taste testing the cookies. And Almost as tall as he that's insulting. Anyway, but um, he's going to be taste testing the cookie to see if they are approval by him. It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yay! So he approved of the cookies. Okay guys, so I'm editing right now and I filmed an outro in my kitchen right when I was doing the taste testing and it was way too loud in the background because my mom was cooking you couldn't even hear me so this is the outro but thank you so much for watching the video like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in my next video